are you going? Sleepwalking. <sighs> what is sleepwalking, Dr. Hoot? Let me explain to you. Let knowledge click. When we sleep, our brain goes through many sleep cycles, like going down and up a staircase, like from light sleep to deep sleep. Then come REM stage. That's when their brains start making dreams. Oh. Sleepwalking is more common in kids. That's because kids' brains are still growing. When they grow up, this problem usually goes away. That's why Buffo walks but doesn't know it. So, does everyone huh? sleepwalk? Mm, no, huh? not at all. Sleepwalking is more common in kids. That's because kids' brains are still growing. When they grow up, this problem usually goes away. For adults, sleepwalking can happen if they have stress, lack of sleep, or tiredness. Hmm, but if sleepwalkers keep walking around, it's dangerous, right, Dr. Hoot? Yes, huh? they might trip, bump into things, or even walk outside without knowing. So, to be safe, we should keep the room tidy, no obstacles. Close and lock doors to avoid walking outside. If you see a sleepwalker, don't shout. Just gently guide them back to bed. If it happens many times, tell the doctor for help. We got it! <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! <laughs> Slow down, Lucy. Don't stub your mouth. You're joking! <laughs> What's happening to me? Your tummy is mad because you didn't chew your food properly. I'll tell you. Let knowledge clear. Inside your tummy is a special team called the digestive system. When you chew your food well, your sleep helps make it soft so it can slide down your throat. Then it goes through a long tube and into your stomach. Your stomach squeezes and adds special juices to break the food down. Next, it moves to the small intestine where the food turns into nutrients. The nutrients travel all around your body to help you grow strong. And if you don't chew well, trouble's coming. If a bite of food is too big and go down without enough chewing, it can get stuck in your throat. Not only that, the big piece is hard to digest. Your stomach gets tired and doesn't make enough juice. So you feel full, sore, or hear funny tummy sounds. As a result, your intestines can get all the nutrients. That means even if you eat a lot, your body still doesn't get strong. Wow! Uh -oh. My tummy! I'll chew better and stop rushing my food from now on. Oh, oh. <gasps> no! <laughs> it wouldn't grow no. into a tree, oh. Wufu. You want to know why? Let knowledge click! A watermelon seed needs soil, water, and sunlight in order to sprout and grow into a plant. On 
the other hand, the stomach lacks the conditions needed for a seed to sprout. If the watermelon seed doesn't mm. grow, what will happen to it? <laughs> The substances in your stomach will help push it out within about three days, along with other food. <laughs> that means I can eat as much watermelon seeds as I want, right? One or two seeds won't hurt, but swallowing too many could make you choke or even have stomach ache. When you eat watermelon, make sure to spit out the seeds to stay safe, okay? Yes! That's it for today. It's just a movie. Why are you crying so much? Did you know why Lucy cries? Let knowledge click. Our eyes see things and send signal to the brain. When we feel strong emotions like fear or sadness, the brain reacts and tells the body how to respond. It sends signal to the tear glands, which make tears that flow out of your eyes. Tears aren't all the same. In our eyes, there are actually three types of tears. First, there are basal tears, like little bodyguards that keep our eyes moist and clean every day. Second, reflex tears. They show up quickly when something like dust, onions, or wind bothers your eyes to wash it away. And finally, emotional tears like Lucy's just now. They appear when we feel really sad, happy, or deeply moved. Can you guess why babies cry so much? Um, I'm not sure. Babies can talk yet, so crying is their way of communicating. Like when they're hungry or need a diaper change. <laughs> Where are we going, oh. Mommy? <laughs> We're getting a shot, sweetie. Why do I need a shot? Uh, oh. Did you oh. want to know why we need shots? Hmm. I can tell you. Let knowledge click. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Inside our body, there's a tiny army that protects us. It's called the immune system. <laughs> When bad germs attack, if our body doesn't know how to deal with them, we can get sick right away. Oh. <laughs> mm. A vaccine is like a practice drill for our immune army. It doesn't make us sick. It just brings in a tiny, weak part of the germ. So our body can learn to fight it. The cells remember how to beat it next time. Thanks to practice, the body remembers the bad guys and makes special weapons called antibodies. Next time, the real virus shows up. The army will spot it fast and fight it off super quickly. If lots of people get the shot, the virus won't find anyone to spread to and the disease will go away fast.
Oh! I got it now. But I'm still really scared of the pain. <laughs> I've got a few little tips for that. Before the shot, take a deep breath, relax, and talk to a grown-up. During the shot, don't look at the needle. You can hold someone's hand. After the shot, drink water, rest a little, and don't scratch the spot. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore! Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel!